Why? These, this is why we do what we do. We've got our five, our five C's. We're trying to build confident, competent, contributing, character-driven, connected young people so that they in turn become that as adults. Youth-friendly communities and youth-friendly <coughs> champions build these in as building blocks. They run their programs and their services through, even if it's a real quick checklist, to see if they're meeting some of those outcomes to keep the young people engaged in what they're doing. Okay? Perfect. How many of you have heard of the seven developmental needs? How many of you use the seven developmental needs when you're doing uh, programming, scheduling, developing things, having discussions with young people or other organizations? Believe it or not, every one of you in the room probably knows the seven developmental needs and you probably use them when you're negotiating and you're talking to people and you're doing your thing. Do you know why? Because they're grounded in research, but for those people who do, that, do this for a living, it's inherent. It's just something that you do because you do it and you understand. So not only do we understand that they're sensation seeking, non, non planners, lack of judgment, lack of you know, decision making capabilities, we're building in the five outcomes. We also have to think of these developmental needs, right? We want these outcomes. We have to meet the needs to get to the outcome, okay? The summary of the developmental needs are, there are seven, mastery and achievement, physical activity, self-definition, creative expression, positive interactions with peers and adults, meaningful participation, and structure and clear limits. Again, seven very easy to understand terms, very easy to understand, almost explain themselves when you say the words. Physical activity is? What is physical activity? Sorry, say that again. Being physically active, right? Uh, meaningful participation. What does that mean? Actually wanting to participate. Wanting to participate. Feeling like you're participating in something worthwhile. Okay, very easy terms to understand. Quality youth-friendly spaces and places intentionally planned to meet the seven developmental needs of youth. So not only are they looking for these outcomes, but they're saying, we gotta meet these needs, and these are the seven needs, okay? As uh, we move forward and we go through, we're gonna actually visit each of the seven and have a discussion and a bit of an experiential about them so that you understand them. But I do want to uh, make mention to you that as we do this uh, portion, we refer to uh, a youth that all of you probably know, and that's Jeremy from the Zitz comic strips. Have some of you read that before? Some of you are smiling because you've seen it. Jeremy um, is the star of the Zitz cartoon strip. It's written by Jerry Scott and Jim Borgman. Any parent who has kids uh, will definitely uh, understand uh, the Zitz cartoon uh, because he's the epitome of a teenager. He goes through all of the needs and we use him. And we just want to take the time to mention Jerry and Jim because they make the process of understanding youth a little bit easier in a comical cartoonic approach. And you know, you can use the Zitz cartoons when you're working with youth to show them um, you know, what's going on and stuff.